Hello everybody. I am Engineer Abdul Aziz. Today we will show you our last project about uh, the AC panel unit. It's uh, powered by uh, PLC system and uh, King Kony Smart Home. And now I will explain to you how we change the AC unit, the old model, to a smart AC cooling. Today I will explain for you complete. This is the PLC system. This is the PLC system is Mitsubishi. And these the relays, the control. This panel, it gives us two choice, uh, manual mode and auto mode. The manual mode is giving us all the AC units are on. We can control it by ourselves downstairs inside the home. And I can switch to auto mode and manual mode in this HMI panel. Okay, and now we add in this system the smart home. And this is the smart home system. It's powered by King Kony smart system. This is the relay. This is the relay actuator. And this is the call. They call it call. This is have. 16 input digital and 16 input analog and also we have five sensors for the temperature and we have also the com the connection between the call and the smart relay the smart relay have 32 output and six digital input for this system now we make a connection between the relay and the PLC. The relay, it will give the order to the PLC to switch off to manual mode or auto mode. And we can also turn on the AC unit by our mobile on and off. Now I will show you how we are working by the auto and manual. Now I will explain for you about the auto mode the auto mode we make five groups if each one group have five ACs and they are switching automatically each five group one AC unit it will give us one an hour and a half we can control it by one hour or one hour and a half or 60 minutes by the HMI panel and also we can make it more and please and also each one shifting by shifting one hour AC1, AC2, AC3, 4, 5. It will go to the other group. One by one, one by one. Now, we will show you by mobile. Now, we are using the application. This is our application. We have two application here. This is the smart home that we are using, the UDB server. And this is the K-Box. This one, the difference between the pink one and the yellow one the pink one we are using the Chinese server that if I am out of the range of my home I can also control my home for an example I'm in another city I can control my ACs and I check my errors and everything in my mobile the yellow one the K box only the K box only we can use it for in our local LAN that it means in our router only only the range in our router or our home so we are using this one now we open the king Kony smart now it's making upload yes this is the ac home control now we switch it on okay now this is number one this is number one ac swimming pool it will it will be our number one now when i will switch it off now it will switch off it will take a while of time yes okay mm. on mm -hmm. okay now we can we also add a something 
sorry. Now we will repeat another time because I changed my uh, to. Mm -hmm. Yes, now it's more speed because before I am using the router and the router is very far. Heater, I can turn it on, I can turn it off. Also, now there is our alarm. There is something in our system also we added. I show you the alarms. Alarm records. For an example, if I will step, I will stop my system. Now I will send a, fo a message in my mobile. It will tell us stop system. When I will, now our system, it will stop. Exactly. Now there is a message in my mobile. It will show me that we have our system as a stop in the day and the time. In the day and the time. For an example, now I will use, now I will use the manual mode. I can run it from here also. Now we can run it from here also. Now I will go. Mm -hmm. Now. We have auto run set and manual run set. Now I will add our run manual. Now we run our system by manually. Uh -huh. I will show you now. Uh, come please. Look, in our HMI, the red light is on. It will show us that Really, it's working. Now I will show you on my mobile that there is a message. It show me manual run set. Now our system, it will work by manually. You see? Now it will work one by one, one by one, one by one. At least the all system unit are working on manually. Now also I can use also, I will stop the system in my... Uh, just a moment. Okay. Now, I will run it auto mode. The auto mode, now I will explain for you also the same something. Now, I will go to the auto run set. Now, I will press auto run. Come, please. Look, now it's running auto run. This is the red light is showing us that it's auto run mode. Now we can uh, show you from here. Now it will run group A. All red lamps, it will run. First of all, please. This is group A. And then it will shift after one hour and a half, group B, the green lights. And then C, the other lights. At least shifting unit by unit, unit by unit automatically. Now, if we have, for an example, a problem, for an example, one of these uh, ACs have an overload. Now I will show you uh, hand, handily. Now I will give him a trip. It will give us a buzzer. Now it will give us a buzzer from here and in our mobile there is a message also. Overload AC. Overload AC. That it will tell us that there is a one of these ACs are have overload and one these of the ACs. We can also do, we can receive this overload in our mobile also. How? Now we will go to home home page we will go to our relays receipt trip now i will press it like this and then another time it will give us a receipt ah oh, sorry i am uh, sorry i am pressing auto mode not uh, receipt trip <laughs> sorry that's it receipt trip when i will press it it will give us 
Okay. This is the receipt trip. Now we will return it back. Also in our mobile, we can use our receipt. We can receipt our trip in our mobile. And if we have any kind of uh, error in electric, uh, low liquid uh, in our tank or something, I will show you also, but in not in the mobile, now we can show you in uh, our PC tablet. One moment, please, and I will show you. 